Now, the promise was a war waged by all-seeing drones with precision targets on terror outfits. But a newly obtained Pentagon document shows that the U.S. air wars in the Middle East have killed thousands of civilians and children, further emphasizing on how the drone strikes in Iraq, Syria and Afghanistan were all plagued by deeply flawed intelligence and poor targeting. Now, the newly obtained trove of confidential do Pentagon documents covers more than 1,300 reports of civilian casualties and cites cases where the United States military sometimes killed innocent people instead of terrorists. The Pentagon report has outlined three such incidents, starting with the Kabul drone strike on the 29th of August 2021, which resulted in 10 civilian casualties. The Tokhar airstrike on 19th of July 2016, in which 120 civilians were killed. And the 2015 Ramadi airstrike in Iraq, in which a child became the victim. In August, Weon was the first channel to tell you about a botched U.S. drone strike in Kabul, which was supposed to target ISIS terrorists. Instead, 10 civilians were killed, including children. On the 19th of July 2016, U.S. Special Forces bombed what they believed were three Islamic State group staging areas in northern Syria. American warplanes attacked the Syrian village of Tokhar, which was housing civilians that were displaced by the fighting between the Islamic State and the Syrian forces. The airstrike killed more than 120 farmers and villagers. It does not just stop there. Another example of the botched-up colors drone strikes is the November 2015 attack in Iraq's city of Ramadi, where after the strike, a man was seen dragging an unknown object into an IS position. It was later found out that the object in context here was a child who had died in the attack. Now, according to the Pentagon report, all the civilian survivors of these attacks are generally left with disabilities that require expensive treatments. Meanwhile, U.S. Central Command spokesperson Captain Bill Arben is of the opinion that even with the best technology in the world, mistakes are bound to happen, which are generally based on incomplete information or misinterpretation of the information available. Meanwhile, the Pentagon report also says that the U.S. air campaign in the Middle East grew rapidly in the final years of former U.S. President Barack Obama, who was of the opinion that a new approach, which often used unmanned aircraft controlled from far away, represented the most precise air campaign in history, further emphasizing on how it would keep civilian deaths minimum. However, the on-ground situation is somewhat different. According to the report, over a five-year period, U.S. forces have executed more than 50,000 airstrikes in Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria, resulting in more than 1,000 300 civilian casualties. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.